Hello. Hello AOS fans. It's the Agents of Sigmar. And in this video we're going to tell you five keywords that you don't care about. GW have through many seasons brought in keywords and cast them aside with nary a thought to all of us who became invested in them so very much. Yes, absolutely. And so we're going to tell you the five that really don't matter at all. Now, please don't write in and tell us that you play Claw Pack and therefore one of them really is important. Because it's not. I'm sorry, we just don't care. <laughs> it's still not that important. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And the first one on our list of really, really, really unimportant keywords is... Brawler. Brawler. Yeah. I mean, it conjures images of Ray Winston and Vinnie Jones, but ultimately, you just don't give a shit about it. No. And I, I mean, I used it recently in the Skinner King game, and I was like, oh, they've got Brawler. What? No. I don't know. They even went through all of the hassle of updating loads of cards, say, oh, this fight is a Brawler, and it's made no difference. No. Two and three are Hunter and Quarry. Yeah, I mean, they were great back in whatever season it was. They were great in Beast Grave. Beast Grave and, and then Dire Chasm. Yeah, and they're like, you could have cars that interact with Hunter and Quarry and you could make people quarries, you could make them Hunters and you could score objectives and you could give them upgrades. Uh, um, but now we just don't care. So number four is Assassin. Much now, like Brawler, I feel. Yeah, I mean, it sounds really cool. It does, yeah. But I mean, I don't know how many Assassins there are. I know that they have them in the claw pack, as I've already said, but... Basically, it's oh, some in the elves, the, the spooky shadow elves have a well, that, or Actually, they should have been in our most forgettable warband video. So much so, we've forgot to put them in. Yeah. But yeah, so exactly, if they use it, it must be irrelevant. And the last one on our list, which is actually one that they keep trotting out and has done since about season three, all the way up until very recently Judas Priest. Yeah, Priest. What's it about? I mean, in theory, it could be great. In what practice, is it good for? Yeah. It doesn't do anything. There hasn't been a Rivals deck yet that uses priests in any way, and there can't really be, there because there aren't enough priests out there, which no. is probably a good thing. But even but the cards that do have priests, really. No, exactly. Don't really it's... use cards. And draw them a little bit. A little bit, but, but not really. even then, they can just say only your leader can do this, because yeah. none of the others can be priests anyway. So why do they have them? No, absolutely. But there's our five keywords that you probably don't care about, and we certainly don't either. No. So, yeah, let us know what your most forgettable keyword is, or maybe you've got a reason why these are brilliant and we should shut up. Stick it in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell as always. Absolutely, and if you would like to, do consider supporting us on Patreon. It's growing, actually, over on Patreon, which is quite cool. So lots of us over there talking Underworlds almost 24-7. So we'll see you soon, maybe in the Underworlds.